Welcome back, it's Vigilant. Today we're going to be looking at the Dragonborn Longhouse. So you might have seen this mod on the Steam Workshop recently. It's located on the map right about here. So you're going to go to High Hrothgar, you're going to go straight down, and you're going to find it right here. I know that was a bit confusing to me, so this place is actually really cool. So you got this great view, first of all. Hold on, no, I'm sorry, I'm, qu I'm quick saving before going to the end of that. So you get a pretty nice view up here. Pretty nice place, actually, in the middle of the mountains. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Well, what if a dragon attacks? Well, look at this guy down here, actually. Let me just sprint over to him. He is your guard. Now, there are multiple guards around this place, actually. And they'll defend you in case, you know, there's a 50 dragon attack giant deal. I know that used to happen a lot with the Hearthfire DLC. You exit your house, and next thing you know, you've been robbed for all of your lunch money by a pair of giants, so whatever. So here you got this nice little ledge with an eating table for you to enjoy your sweet roll. And also a place for you to quick save and jump off for some super cinematic ending of the video. Anyways, we're going to go into the inside of the house. So the front door is just right here. Now because I've never verified the integrity of my files because I'm too scared to do it, it's going to take us about 30 seconds to get in here. So what that means, I basically installed a whole bunch of mods, didn't uninstall them properly, and look at this really amazing place you got the mammoth school you got a solitude banner whatever that is i'm pretty sure it's rifted but don't ask me so you got a whole bunch of shield racks weapon racks you even have a place for the masks of the dragon priest so i'm sure you know you can collect masks from all the dragon priests and you can put them here and you get some extra thing or something i don't know i never did it myself but that's sick that it's in here can you imagine coming home after a long day killing dragons and just seeing that? That's sick. And you have your bard here. Now, I don't think the bard actually works yet, but I mean, I've been here a couple times. And then you also have Nelru here. She is your uh, alchemist, actually. So you can buy some alchemy ingredients from her. You know, it's all here. But, I mean, if you really don't feel like paying gold for it, oh, hello, sir. You too. So if you don't feel like paying gold, here's the alchemy wing, by the way. As soon as you walk in, hard right. You can't miss it, really. Hard right. And you're just going to come in here. It's going to be green. He has some options where you can do this more realistically, and you might have to, uh, you know, buy the ingredients yourself using your assistant. She usually sleeps here. So you have the alchemy table. I would be careful before storing your stuff in some stuff in here. So, for example, you might not want to store it in, like, a bookshelf or something. If I was to store anything in here, I store it in the apothecary satchel here, which is all my alchemy stuff. Generally, the satchels and the chests, safes, and safe boxes, as long as they're empty or somewhat empty before, you're generally fine to put stuff in there. So here's some more display cases, and here's a whole bunch of shrines in case you're still confused what religion you are. And you got some mannequins. So it's a really nice place, but that's not all. Now, as far as I'm aware, you cannot have kids in this house yet, but there may be mods that allow that, and it probably will be implemented in the future. So here's some more beds and stuff. It's a really exactly. nice design overall. And then right here is the blacksmithing place. So you come in, go across, and the blacksmithing's in the basement. Now the blacksmith, the gods watch over your battles, super nice person, as you can see. Now there's an imbuing chamber. I have no idea what that does, uh, but basically... Yeah. You just don't ask questions about what your blacksmith is doing over here. I don't know what he's doing with these things. But you can use the workbench, forge, stuff like that. And there's also some weapons and materials you can get. So this is if you don't want to be, you know, buying materials and stuff. Or you can just grab it quickly. If you want to, you know, have the more realistic aspect, you can talk to him. And he does sell quite a bit of stuff. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. So, you know, you might want to buy a sword from here. But I mean, if you're an assassin looking for a dagger, right. this guy doesn't have it, so. So there's also a room down here. There's a strong box. I think this is his house, basically. You know, he can sleep down here and maybe one day you'll release him. Probably never. Here's a chest that I'd recommend storing your stuff in, but don't take my word on it. It's where I store my stuff in, so if you lose it, I'm going to lose it too, and we're both going to cry together. So back here, you're going to come in here, and there's this guy. Not as dumb as you look. Super rude anyways, we don't care about him. 
he sells some soul gems and stuff if you want to be more realistic. But this is the sick part. I know what you might be thinking. Well, where's the enchanting room? Well, you close the door so they don't see, but... But you! Right in here. Now, this is a sick room. Just, like, look at, look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, there's a whole bunch of display racks and stuff, and there's even a staff enchanter if you want to enchant staffs. I mean, I didn't even know you could enchant staffs in this game, so... He has some unenchanted stuff in here and some heart stones. And here's a chest I'd recommend storing your enchanted stuff in. I'm not really sure what the respawn time is for it, but you also have some chests in here which I'm pretty sure are safe to store in. But then you go upstairs and here's your bedroom. So you have some basic stuff, dressers, here's your bed. But I guess the most important stuff is, uh... Alright, don't tell anybody about this, but, uh... Right over here, you have your safe and the strong box. So I'm pretty sure you can store stuff in there without worry of it ever getting removed. And that's basically it. So I think it's a really cool place. If you look at it, I mean, honestly, if somebody was in here, I'd probably think this was like an actual Skyrim building. I'd be like, oh, is that in Solitude or something? Which I think is awesome. That it's not some super unrealistic house that removes the feeling of Skyrim. So it's sweet. Awesome as all of your needs, alchemy, enchanting, room, blacksmithing. I mean, what else do you need? A working bard? Need something? Be sure to like it if you liked it. There's a download link to this mod in the description. I recommend you get it. It's free. It's just on the Steam Workshop, so you just hit subscribe, and it'll be added to your game. And, oof. It was worth it. See ya.